Hey guys, Lauren Larson here with The Clarity Cure. How are you? Welcome to my new moon reading. I yeah, I apologize. Today is the new moon. Today is January 16th. Um, but I was so excited about this energy in Capricorn that I figured, ah, let's throw down a few cards and see what's coming through for the energy. You know, like last month, all those planets in Sag, they're kind of now in Capricorn. And this is about setting intentions and staying on purpose. And I feel like a lot of you have maybe been struggling or if you've gone sideways and it's kind of all gone up in flames, <laughs> you can kind of reset the button here and you'll have another 28 day cycle to really set your vision. Okay. Cause this is that energy of Capricorn anyway. It's about your goals and your desires and, um, you know, honoring your, uh, yourself and accountability being, you know, being accountable for yourself, your compassion, um, being focused. And maybe you might feel this energy tonight. If you kind of, you know, you got to catch the wave you got, you know, it's like going in the ocean and being a surfer and riding the energy of the waves. Okay. Same thing, same kind of concept with the energy of the universe. Okay. Astrologically speaking, and even spiritually speaking. And, um, it's funny that I'm saying that because you did receive music. Maybe some of you can tap into some music tonight or to help you over any rough spots. It's such a healing, beautiful energy. Um, this also speaks about harmony, right? Balancing the flow, the music of the instruments into uh, this uh, synchronicity, okay, to your actions, all right? You also received peace. Mm, look at that. I changed the direction here of my computer, so hopefully there's no glare here. I'm trying to get a closer view for you guys, um, for all the cards Anyway, uh, this card piece, mm, okay, here it is for you the next 28 days, freedom from attachments, okay, um, this is getting the freedom that you want through radical acceptance, look at the dove flying over the egg. This is, this is you, the egg, the world. I feel like this is everybody. I feel this is almost like a universal message as well. Um, attachments. Yep. Yeah. I'll tell you, emotionally speaking, this resonates with me that, <clears throat> you know, if you can't take it with you, what, what's it worth? Okay. So Becoming too attached to the materialistic world um, obviously is not healthy and we're all at different stages in our lives and we do need to make a living and we do need this and we do need that and whatever. But I think everything in moderation and then shedding that cloak of emotional attachment, I think is what's real key here is kind of what I'm hearing. We all define ourselves by our emotions or who we think we are or our preconceptions. Um, so here's an opportunity for you to guys really shed that cloak of mm, uh, how you think it should be or what you're holding on to. Maybe it's time to let go. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards are coming in to say. Let's see what we got. Nine of Wands, the Lovers, and the Hanged Man. Okay, nine of wands. Wow. For those of you that are feeling really tired or drained, um, there's definitely illumination coming into your situation. Uh, maybe you just need to slow down, okay, because you've been sticking it out. And this is, speaks about like the last hurdle uh, that you need to get over. Uh, so don't give up. There's definitely cycles uh, completing. This is nice. Maybe this, this last new moon cycle, um, has been a little rough for some of you. Okay. Uh, there could be some delays or some decisions that need to be made, but this is about dedication and, and you're so close. This is about doing what's important to you in your life. So that's really, really nice. Uh, the second card is the lovers. So, mm, this is following your heart. 
This is that choice of that decision like I just mentioned. It's about taking the high road, not the low road, and weighing your options and looking at everything. I'm really happy for you guys because you can start new here, okay, with this whole new cycle, yet you're completing and definitely some of you are definitely going through some changes here and maybe even have to make some sacrifice. But I think as far as the new moon message, this is about that's okay. You know, life is about sometimes making sacrifices to get what you want. Okay. And this goes back to peace and attachments and mm, sometimes we have to give things up to gain what we want. And everybody's going to be at a different stage in their life. Okay. But this is about the ultimate surrender, the ultimate surrender to creating the change that we want, you know, not throwing in the towel, but surrendering to the attachments, surrendering to um, our preconceived notions of how it should be. And even though you might be waiting for clarity, that has to come from within. So consider uh, being open to new perspectives. Okay, and that's the message here as well with, with the Nine of Wands, really critical. Okay. That maybe taking a step back is okay. Looking at maybe what you need to surrender, making that decision to do that. Or making the decision to ha even have a vision and living more on a soul level. That's what this is all about. You have all this wonderful Capricorn new energy coming in for, for you uh, to take advantage of this time. I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but if you um, need help in creating your vision, you can download my PDF. Just go to my website and sign up for my mailing list. Uh, that's been really helpful. I've got a lot of positive feedback from my clients that um, have um, created their vision statement um, and did the seven-day ritual at the new year. For those of you that are struggling, I'm available here for a reading on a personal level if you need it. It's my area of expertise, kind of get you on track to where you need to be. Uh, for others of you that are interested in the cards that I'm using, I will now be including links to how to purchase those in the description box as well. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. I think that's over here as well. I'm going to be working on the February Love uh, relationship readings and the general readings here, and I'm getting them out early. Okay, <laughs> I'm working on them this week. Uh, the time is just flying by so well, so fast for all of us. And we do all have our daily challenges, but I think the idea here is to, when we have the opportunity to, to choose. And uh, this Capricorn moon is definitely going to help propel you guys to continue to move forward. So latch on to this energy. Um, I love you guys. Thanks for your support. And we'll see you soon here, okay? So take care. Bye-bye.